Hey, welcome back to Super Data World. Today we're gonna to show you how to pull tweets from Twitter and it's a lot easier than you might think. So first to get started, we need to go to Twitter developers. And when you sign up at Twitter developers, so you'll get a, a screen to sign up, I've already signed up. Uh, you create a project and for free, you get the different authentication keys that you need for Twitter. So for this project, we need an API key and secret, and we need an access token and secret. So just go in, I'll put the link to the developer.twitter.com in here. Just go in and create a project, you'll get these keys and you're good to go. So once we've got those keys, we can go into our code. And this code might look a bit complicated, but you can just copy and paste this whole thing. I have it out in GitHub, it doesn't change. So you just use the same thing every time and I'll just talk through what I'm doing um, in the code here and how you can customize it. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna install the Tweepy API and this allows us to get uh, tweets out. And so I'm, first of all, I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run this, um, this Tweepy API. This is gonna install within my collab, so that's done. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import Tweepy, which is what I've just installed, and import pandas. And then I'm going to put in my authentication here. So I've got it done up the top. I obviously don't wanna reveal my keys, but when you put in your, uh, when you sign up for the Twitter developers, just put in those four keys here. And then we need to pass those into the Twitter API authentication key, right? So this, you just don't change the code here. Just put in your keys here and then just pass those in here. We have to instantiate the Tweepy API. So it's just Tweepy API, send in the auth in here, and then we can build our search query. So essentially the search query is what you wanna search for tweets on. I'm using uh, Elon Musk and Fired in here. And then very important, what we do is that we filter retweets, filter replies and fil filter links. Because when you're doing a Twitter project, you want the tweets to be original. You don't want them to be retweets of other people's tweets or links or ads. I'm gonna set my number of tweets equal 100 in here. And then I can get into the pulling the tweets themselves. So I'm doing a try accept loop in here. And this is just because a few things can go wrong. So you can see what's going wrong if something does go wrong. So essentially I'm gonna get my tweets by doing an api.search tweets and then the query equals the search query which I've instantiated up here. So we can change this to whatever you want. I'll change this to a few things later on. Language equals English, the count is equal to the number of tweets. So I've got 100 here and the tweet mode equals extended. This is important because if you don't put the tweet mode as extended, you can get a truncated tweets into your data set. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set an attributes container as a list comprehension. And all this is doing is really just pulling certain things out of the tweet. I'll show you how big the for each tweet the data coming out is later, and you'll see why I'm doing this. So I'm pulling out the username, the when the tweet was created, the favorite count of the tweet, the source of the tweet, and the full text of the tweet for tweet and tweet. So essentially, whatever tweets are coming out of this, this is just pulling what I need out of it. And you can, you can increase this if you want to get other things out of the tweets and I'll show you what all is available now in a few minutes. Then I'm creating columns for each of these to put into my data frame. So I want this to be called user, date created, number of likes, the source of tweet and the tweet itself. So I'm creating the data frame here as doing the attributes container, which is the list comprehension from this and then adding the columns in there. So it's as easy as just pressing play and this will pull my tweets, it happened in one second. And just to show you what this looks like, I've got my username, my date created, number of likes, source of tweet, and the tweet itself. And just to show you about all that comes out of this API, this is just one tweet, data for one tweet, and these are all the variables that come out of it. So a lot of things you can get out of a tweet, and you can see that this tweet was created at 739, which is the same as this. So this is all the data that's coming out here. So to get these tweets out, you can just go from Colab and Pour Files, Tweets DF to CSV, Tweets.Tweets, and Files.Download Tweets.CSV. So that's if you want to get them out into a CSV, all you have to do is that, and then that CSV will run. And this is what my CSV looked like. So I have a I have a row for each one of my tweets in here. So this is my 100 tweets, all containing Elon Musk and Fired. So you get Elon Musk and Fired in there. 
Now, if I want to change the tweets, all I have to do is change the query. So I've got Elon Musk and fired in here. I now want to look at World Cup and Messi. So I'm going to put World Cup in here and I can put Messi in here. I'm going to run this and my tweets DF are all about World Cup and Messi. So really it's as simple as that. Um, I pulled 4,000 tweets for a project and I found it quite easy, so I thought I would just share that with you. Hope you found this video useful. Follow Super Data World on YouTube and TikTok for more data analytics tutorials.